Okay, hey guys. This is a tutorial on Sam Skip. It's used to skip the beginning section of POA here. So this might take a couple tries, but yeah, it's a really tough trick. I would only recommend doing it for ILs at this point. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing your health monitor online, sir. And. I would only do it in full game if you are trying to go for world record, but it only saves around 10 to 15 seconds on average. So what you're going to want to do is the start of belly skip, or not belly skip, uh, the bully strats here. Just standard strats. You try to wait for this guy to more fully turn the corner as well, so it makes it easier to do that just look at each of the flashing panels to target them when you lock on it'll change color so you just okay, do the tutorial I'm ready for the energy shield test now please follow me and then you reinvert this is what you would do in full game if you're playing on inverted for the three seconds of time save you just have to kind of reverse your inputs so the first part is you don't want to look at the crewman right here like so if you look at the crewman me to the energy shield test when you're doing this, it's not going to work because once you look at the crewman here, you get locked in place and you can't move anymore. So what you want to do is once you block him here, to jump and then you want to get into this corner. So you want to tap back and right until you can't tap back anymore. Okay, sir, look so, at me, so generally, so generally you want to just tap back until you can't move anymore. So as you can see I'm tapping S but I can't move backwards. So that means I'm in the corner correctly. Once you do that, uh, uncrouch. Like, you, you do this setup all crouched. And then you look stand at the, the marine. It's going to sense. tell you to stand on the yellow square. And then the general way to do it on OG is you look at this spot where I'm looking right here like it's pretty pixel precise but you want your left part of the cross here like to line up with the line of this pillar it's kind of hard to see probably but you just want it around that area but generally you would look down all the way but on MCC it's pretty tough to do that. Uh, FOV doesn't matter generally for the lineups. So another way to do this lineup instead of looking down all the way like this is if you're in new graphics you can do it just by looking down and you can see where the top like the top of the cross here the left part there's like a corner there and you want to make that corner match with this line right here. It's kind of hard to see. But you want that line to be just like there. And you want to be slightly off of it. So it's like a very like small portion right there. And then you want to do a very precise W and space press here. So if you're too early with the or if you pr press space too late then you'll get stuck in the yellow square which is one thing you don't want if you press space too early you're only going to jump halfway so you need to do it at a perfect jump timing so okay, that is uh, too late of a jump so I jumped and bounced to the wrong spot please follow me to the energy shield test station once again, crouch in the corner, and then you want this guy to say his entire line of dialogue, that's important. You want him to say his entire stand on the yellow square dialogue, because once it finishes then uh, you'll be locked into place the instant that you move into the square at the right time. Okay, that was short again because I jumped too late. Me to the energy shield test station. Fire team, 
Report to defensive positions Alpha through Sierra. Sensors show inbound Covenant boarding craft. Stand by to repel boarding. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. And that's the good one. So, generally, if this works, that means that this thing, the shield generator, will phase through you. And you want that to happen. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. And then... So, I, I have to explain it more, but it's really tough. But you want that uh, shield generator thing to phase through you. And there's a lot of stuff happening right there at the same time. This will just take a second. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. So then you want to look at this corner where I'm looking at. And, like, it helps if you just look straight down right. afterwards, but it's not super shot. necessary. Okay, sir. Bring them and then your the E press shield. timing is right at the end of Sir in the, uh... <laughs> When, like, the Recharge Marine says sir, or the crewman. So, if you get it correctly, then when you tap S, you'll teleport to the ceiling. And you have to tap S for just long enough that you teleport up, but not long enough that you fall, like, off. And not short enough, because if you tap it too short, you're going to like get a half teleport of some sort, and it won't work either. And the E press timing is frame perfect. If you don't press it at the right frame, you won't get the... like... The shield generator won't overlap with you at the right time. So let's see... Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. So look at the corner, look straight down. All right. Shield read is fully charged. E press timing at the end of okay, Sir. Bring them down to test the that might have been a bit late. But yeah, it's a really, really precise time to do this. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. But yeah, if you see this thing pass too far in front of you, that means you did it too late. If it passes by, like, too short, or, like, directly on top of you, then you did it for, or you pressed E too early. So, you have to get right in between for the timing right there. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, And once again, like, all of these inputs are super, super precise, so... It's definitely one of the tougher tricks. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring So like right there I wasn't lined up correctly, so even though the shield thing might phase through me, I'm not standing on the right spot. You can see when I'm looking like this direction, I'm not on top of this dot. So if I'm face facing perfectly parallel with this line, and if you're not on this dot, then you're not in the right spot. So your angle has to be really good, like, perfect for it to work. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay. And that time, you can see I got stuck right there. So if you get stuck, you didn't press space in time. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring his so once again, I don't think this is the right spot, but we'll see. All right, shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. And then you have to wait until the shield generator stops spinning when you press S to teleport up. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. As you can see right there, 
I like it was too far behind me, but that could have been because I was angled too far to the left there when I jumped to the spot, and it could have been me pressing E too early. Okay, sir, look at me so we can begin. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring so right there, I'm the in this please. spot, and if this shield generator doesn't push me, we're good. All right, shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. So I think this is the right timing. Might be a frame early or a frame late. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. But you see right here, this this is the perfect spot. So now you're going to press S for the right amount of time, and you should teleport up to the top here. I think I held S too long, so I might fall if I walk here. But then you want to walk, yeah. But you want to walk to the end of the pipe there. There's still some more stuff. But you can see it's a really precise trick. Like, I got the teleport, but... I pressed S at the raw like l too long. Okay, sir, look at me so we can begin. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. So here, the right okay, inputs, kind of far forwards here. All right, shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. It's like a flood bump, or any kind of teleport where two things are intersecting, and when you move, it, like, messes up with where it wants to place you, so it teleports you to the ceiling, because that's where the game wants you to be. Let's take a look at the guy. Down here. Okay, Jump. Bring his energy shields online, please. Look at the right spot. Look all the way down. All right. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic. It should be the right timing, hopefully. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge so press S for just the amount of time you need. I didn't, I wasn't exactly in the right spot there, I think. <laughs> so that didn't work. <laughs> it's really rough. I would use custom checkpoints if I opened them, but I'm too lazy to do that right now. But once again, you have to wait for his entire line of dialogue. Look at the right spot. The inputs. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. Like you can see, I'm slightly back. And yeah, you can see that's what happens if you're not in the right spot as well. The shield generator thing can also push you out if you're not doing it the right way. So yeah, it's really tough. Okay, sir, look at me so we can begin. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring his energy shields online, please. Like, this is not the right spot. Really? All right. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir, bring them down to test the automatic recharge. I think if you're... Like, not in the right spot, you might be able to save it if you wait longer for the E press, but it's really, really rough, and I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, it just doesn't work if you're you jump into the wrong spot. But yeah, you want to be right at that circle thingy. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. 
Okay, bring his energy like, this is please. better. It's not the best, but it could work. But yeah, you can see it got pushed by the shield generator thingy, so it didn't work. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring his energy shield like, on. This please. is not gonna work either, I think. You need to turn more right. It might work though. Alright. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to cryo two. This is yeah, didn't work. <laughs> I do want to get the skip once to show. Because there is one more step once you teleport to the top, which is another teleport. Sir, I need you to look at me so we can begin. And yeah, getting into this corner can sometimes be annoying. It helps if you're against the wall of like one of these walls or something. But yeah. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring it Like right there, the I line, jumped please. too far to the right. My angle was too far to the right. Okay, sir, look at me so we can begin. Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring us in. Yeah, like this online, should please. work. All right. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. I think I pressed E late. It's very, 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 very rough. This is why it's an IL strat, and this is also why I wouldn't recommend it for full game. But yeah. This, yeah, it was just a frame too late. Please follow me to the energy shield test station. Like that E press was a frame late. <laughs> Stand on the yellow square. This will just take a second. Okay, bring his energy shields online. Please. This should work. Might be a bit far right, but that's fine. All right. Shield read is fully charged. Okay, sir. Bring them down to test the automatic recharge. Recharging normally. We're showing green across the board. Bridge to cryo two. This is Captain. S long enough. So now you're on top here. Captain, we'll have yeah. to skip the weapon diagnostics. <laughs> this is what happens if you get it right. Then you want to walk to this wall. Technically you can platform by jumping onto this like part in front of you and then walking all the way over. And like you do have to do some complicated jumps. But if you want to do the fastest way, you're going to walk forwards. Do not walk too far to the left or right. I got a really good checkpoint to demonstrate. So here you want to slowly while holding W just walk forwards and angle like to the right or to the left. And then you're going to tap or hold right once you reach where like I am right here. So if you do it correctly, you'll generally land further. But there's multiple different teleports you can do. If you want to get the longer teleport, you want to be closer to this black line of this thing here. But the thing is, if you get a longer teleport, you have a chance at uh, just teleporting way too far. So if you're teleporting like this, this will not work because you'll teleport like 
way too far and then it won't work to teleport. So like this, you'll just fall and die out of bounds. And if you want to get a shorter teleport, you've walked further to the right. And it won't give you, like, it sometimes is really bad. So you generally want to have some leeway like this. And that's actually the perfect teleport. You want to land, like, right where I land here. Uh, if you don't land there, I think if you, like, walk even further like this, you'll, yeah, you can see that teleport was way too short. Like, these teleports are way too short if you do that. And yeah, you want to make sure you stay on this pillar. And walking any direction other than forwards is going to make you fall. But yeah, if you go too far, you land something like this. You have to jump into this area, and that works. And then you can get some where you land on the pipes as well. Or land like this. Yeah, just like that. So basically, you just want to make sure that you get the best teleport, which is just close enough so that you land inside, but not long enough like that to uh, teleport out of bounds. And yeah, this is also why it saves like a kind of weird-ish amount of time, because you also need the, to do this quickly in order to like save the time. So you need to kind of just YOLO it like that. And be careful to not fall in here because this is a soft lock. You can't kill yourself to like get out of here. You have to just revert if you end up doing that. But if you revert, that's like might as well restart the mission. So yeah. And once again, you just have to make sure that your teleport line up. I think the best teleport is where the very right of your crosshair is touching the black bar. But it's probably a bit further than that, like a tiny bit further. Yeah, like that. So just a tiny bit further from the uh, black bar of this like beam thing. And that should give you the good teleport every time. And yeah, that's basically Sam Skip. Uh, I would show like a full like thing of it like at once, but that's kind of tough to do. But yeah, that is that's Sam Skip. That's my Sam Skip tutorial, I guess. Okay.